Hi friends, today we are doing Unit 3, Lesson 6. We are going to go over the vocabulary that we'll be going with today's reading first. Our first word is cartilage, which is a flexible tissue that cushions the joints where your bones meet. Our next word is flexible, which means bendable. Then we have connective, which means linking. Our next word is model, which is a smaller copy of something. Our next word is ligament, which is a tissue connecting bones to bones. Our next word is tendon, a tendon connecting muscles to bones. Our next word is Achilles, a hero of the Trojan War in Greek mythology. He could only be killed by a wound just above his heel. Our next word is Achilles tendon, the strong tendon joining the muscles in the calf of the leg to the bone of the heel. Our next word is warrior, which is a soldier. Then we have invulnerable, safe or protected, opposite of vulnerable. Our next word is Trojan, a person born or living in the ancient city of Troy. And our last word is vulnerable, weak or in danger, opposite of invulnerable. We are now going to move into, today, into today's reading, which is in your small reader, chapter four, joints and muscles. Does anyone know what we call the place where two bones come together? It's called a joint. You have lots of joints in your body. Your elbow is a joint, so is your shoulder, so is your knee. Dr. Wellbody points to an image of knee joints. Many joints are cushioned by cartilage. Cartilage is a flexible connective tissue. It is not as hard as bone, but it is stiffer and less flexible than muscle. Do you remember when we learned about the vertebrae, the bones that make up your spinal column? Well, we have cartilage between each of the 30 or so vertebrae in our spinal column. The cartilage cushions the vertebrae and keeps them from rubbing or banging against each other. The cartilage is shown in red in the model on the next page. You also have cartilage in your ears. Grab the top of your ear and bend it down a little. Now let it go. Do you feel how your ear snaps back into place when you let go of it? It's the cartilage that makes your ear do that. Model of four vertebrae with cartilage. Some of the most important tissues in your body are located at the joints. A ligament is a kind of tissue that connects one bone with another. Most of your joints contain ligaments. You have ligaments in your knee, in your neck, and in your wrists. This slide shows ligaments in your knee. Can you see how the ligaments connect your thigh bone to the bones in your lower leg? This is a back view on the left and front view on the right of the right knee showing ligaments in red. Ligaments connect bones to other bones. Tendons connect muscles to bones. I said earlier that the muscular system and the skeletal system are connected. Well, tendons link these two systems. Tendons connect muscles to bones and allow you to move your bones. One of the most famous tendons in the body is called the Achilles tendon. Does anyone know where the Achilles tendon is? That's right, the Achilles tendon is in the back of your leg just above the heel. The Achilles tendon connects your heel bone to the muscles in your lower leg. It's an important tendon that you use when you walk or run. Does anyone know why this tendon is called the Achilles tendon? No? Well then, I guess I had better tell you the story. The image points to the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon is named for a famous Greek warrior named Achilles. You may remember hearing about the ancient Greeks when you were in second grade. When Achilles was a baby, his mom tried to make sure that he would never die. She had heard that a person who had been dipped in the river Styx could not be harmed by spears or arrows. She took her son and dipped him in the river. Then she felt better. She believed that her son was invulnerable. Nothing could harm him, or so she thought. There was just one problem when she dipped Achilles in the river. She held him by his heel, so this heel never got dipped in the river. Many years later, during the Trojan War, a Trojan warrior shot an arrow at Achilles. The arrow landed right above Achilles' heel the very spot that had not been dipped into the river Styx. Achilles died from this wound. So now you know why the Achilles tendon is named for Achilles. 
This tendon was the one spot where the mighty warrior was vulnerable and could be wounded. This is a statue of Achilles, the Greek warrior. You may now move on to Unit 3, Lesson 6, Google Form.